Hey, you know, I got a couple of news notes. Pat McAfee is joining ESPN's College Game Day, full-time member of the show. So he is uh, still with WWE, but he is, uh, I believe, out of the SmackDown commentary gig, likely until the Royal Rumble. And uh, he just signed a, I would presume, quite lucrative new deal. So I don't know how they handle something like that. Like, it's just kind of like when you get injured and they put your... uh, (laughs) <laughs> your deal on hold or whatever, and then uh, he'll come back and make his money again. But if he's if he's got that big WWE money and he doesn't have to show up and he does another gig, that's quite a that's, good for him. I'm sure they're putting a pause on payroll for that one while he uh, makes his jaunts. Although he was willing to do it and he did it last year, and he talked about a story on his show today where he had to get from. Oh, God, was it Buffalo to Memphis, I think it was, or something like that. So Jim Ursay, his former boss, the owner of the Indianapolis Colts, let, lent him his plane, and he ended up flying down there for that, and he apparently was willing to do that, and WWE were the ones who stepped in and said, uh, no, you really shouldn't do that. It's not good for your health, even though it is possible for you to do it. Getting two hours of sleep and then going on and having to do that show, it's... Uh, You know, that's a little much, although it's great for WWE. They already have a tie-in with ESPN in that show anyway, so I'm sure we're going to... It probably won't be too long before Pat McAfee is reunited with some of his WWE friends on that show, so... You know, it's it's a good deal for him as his... Again, his star continues to grow to a ridiculous degree, and... That's a difference in WWE. That's one of the differences in the last couple of years, especially with him, where they are willing to have these people from the outside in some ways that they can't control, but they're willing to at least accept these people in and use them and actually, you know, try to get some of the rub off of them, you know, when they do other things. So whether it be the bad bunnies, I mean, we've seen celebrities come in and out, but even though he didn't last there long, Moro Ranello, you know, for what he was doing for CBS and for Showtime and for other places, and now with McAfee, who's frankly a much bigger star than anybody in WWE, and I don't want to say that, you know, they need him more than he needs them, but it, it certainly is a nice uh, nice combination. I don't think I need to talk too much about this, but Becky Lynch was on the, uh, what's the name of the podcast here, Out of Character, and uh, and she said that Triple H felt that WWE was swimming upstream by having Becky Lynch portray a heel. So anyway, (laughs) glad they figured that out. Well, only one man really had the issue, correct? We're going to blame only one man. Patrick Clark, the former Velveteen Dream, is alleged to have punched a bit. What's with everyone biting everybody? (laughs) He's alleged to have punched, bitten, and made death threats. Bath salts. Towards a gym employee during an altercation last month. You know, uh, I don't want to make light of this or anything, but I, when I said that, I just realized that uh, when I was uh, wrestling Filthy this, this week and he tried to superplex me, and bro, I'm 47, I ain't taking that move, so I bit him in the nose. Did you really? Chopped him. Yeah. Oh. And knocked, what did he knocked him off after the, that? <laughs> I went for a senton, and he happened to catch me in a choke. <laughs> But you know what? It didn't work. It's a beautiful senton, though. I appreciate that. Anyway, he uh, bit a guy, allegedly, made death threats towards a gym employee. He was arrested August 20th, charged with battery, trespassing on a property after a warning. According to police documents obtained by TMZ, Clark became irate and argumentative after having to leave an area of the gym that was closed for cleaning. After a gym employee requested Clark leave the premises, Clark is alleged to have made death threats aimed at the employee and then struck them in the face. A fight between the two continued. Clark reportedly bit the employee on his chest under the left armpit. Clark was then arrested after police witnessed teeth marks on the gym employee. Yeah. You hope he gets the help he needs. Like, as simple as that. And I don't know what he's done, what he's done, doesn't, hasn't done. I know what he has been accused uh, of. By the way, I just want to like throw that. in, by the way, that uh, right. he was, there was that arrest we were talking about a few days ago. This was different. He was then arrested again six days later for something else. Yeah. He's got obvious problems, and hopefully he can get those problems fixed. And, you know, there's a lot of people that are asking around, and I'm sure you've heard the same thing about Malachi Black. And here's the bottom line here. 
He seems to have been offered his conditional release. What does that mean? It means he's not going to be showing up in WWE. And for the nature of why he asked for his release, that's really nobody's business right now either. Because if he took time off for himself to to get himself straight in any aspect, mental, whatever it is that he decided to take the time off, it is a personal issue to him. And there's a lot of people asking about it. That's really going to be up to him when he decides, if he decides in the future, that he wants to reveal what it was. All I have is a few questions. Oh, good. My favorite. Is it duplex or suplex? Or is it both? A wrestling move where you (laughs) grab your opponent and throw him backwards through the air is a suplex. A housing complex with two homes built connected as a duplex. Yeah, it's never been duplex, Granny, but you've you've said this now for 15 okay, years, so we just I, yeah, let, yeah. It, let it go. Yeah. So I thought once and for all, I want to know which it is. So it's duplex and not suplex, right? No, a it's, suplex it's is suplex a wrestling move. and not duplex. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> duplex is a housing development, Granny. Ulysses S. Grant's battle we, scars. We, we definitely read these. Skip forward no, a few pages. No, no, okay, no. Okay, all right, all right, go ahead. We didn't do this one. Okay. Yeah, this person says we did. This person says we did it. I protest. There must be two of them then. (laughs) I protest. He wrote the same one twice. I like this one about Grant so much. I'm going to put it in the book twice. I'm telling you, I wasn't back this far. Okay, fine. Read another one. Yeah, Everyone's saying we read these last week, Granny. Big deal. (laughs) Who cares, everybody? But all the researchers today. Are you reading the book the wrong way? No. Okay. What do you think I am? I don't know. You keep saying you're going back. <laughs> Why would we go back when reading a book? We're supposed to go forward. Maybe what happens, Granny, is you put the bookmark in, and then when you open it to that page, you start reading the ones we already read. Maybe the bookmark should go on the next page. No. Okay. <laughs> what do they say in court? I object. I object. Objection, Your Honor. Yeah, that's right. I didn't read that again. Overruled, Granny. You did. <laughs> All right. Anything else, Granny? You're guilty. <laughs> well. <laughs> go to go to jail. Your guilty was the high spot of the week. Oh, you shut I'll... me off. No. Oh, you're right here. Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? There was some weird rumbling going on. Like she, she's unplugging her own cord there. I think you unplugged the I cord. I can't hear you. you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I, I'll message you. I'll message you. I hear you now. Oh, now you do? Yeah, now I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Uh, what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Ah! All right. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.